have I made it? Am I... I've got hate comments, that means that I've actually caused a stir and ruffled some feathers. Does that mean that I'm a proper YouTuber now? I should have expected this. Putting myself online for everyone to see. For people to judge me on how I look and how I talk, and then comment freely underneath the video. It's obvious that someone will eventually say something that genuinely hurts. Something that hits a nerve and really makes you think about yourself in a way that you prefer not to. And as soon as that happens, I'll let you know, but for now, Let's talk about these comments, shall we? What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am some guy called Jack and as some of you may remember, a few weeks ago I did a little video about another YouTuber called No Joke Howard. I think it's safe to say that he made just a few points that I personally didn't agree with. British women are ugly as f Am I a tranny chaser? No, I've never chased a tranny in my life. They chase me. They chase me because I'm sexy. There is a direct correlation between terrorism and Islam. So I made a video and I made a few counterpoints because, well, my jimmies were well and truly rustled. But I did put a lot of thought into what I was saying. Um, like, I, I was very careful how I phrased things because I do know that with both this subject matter and when you're talking about other YouTubers, uh, it can get like it can be a bit of a touchy subject sometimes so I had to be like very precise and level-headed when I was talking about him and I was Mostly <laughs> you are a racist and discriminating prick. I did I did get a little bit annoyed at him sometimes I'll say that but for the most part everything I said was accurate and Educated now as I expected some of his followers because he does have you know, a fair amount of followers, a fair amount of subscribers. Some of them weren't too thrilled about what it was that I had to say. But to be honest, I was I was curious and even a little bit excited maybe to sort of engage them in a conversation. I was I was more than happy to have like a mature, civilized discussion about some of the points that I raised. I'd be willing to listen to the other side's point of view with an open mind. You know, like potentially even coming to some sort of mutual understanding, or at the very least, just like, agreeing to disagree. You're a faggot bitch, mate. Uh, apparently not. First to leave a comment, well not first to leave a comment, first to leave a hate comment was Orlando Brown, but not just Orlando Brown, Orlando Brown OFFICIAL! Pretty obvious from the word go here that we're not going to get much in the way of a civilised discussion. So I decided to just wind him up a little bit really. So, because I was so moved by Orlando Brown OFFICIAL's touching comment, I, um, I gave him a, a little well-deserved heart on the comment and uh, I wrote him a little reply. Oh, thanks so much. Means a lot. Kiss. I think I might have touched a nerve because after that he sort of, he really went in. Quit complaining about what another man says if you won't say it to his f***ing face, motherfucker. Because me, no joke, and you all know that you wouldn't do anything but f*** your pants to him. Even to save your own pathetic piece of s*** motherfucking life, dog. Get off the internet, you don't even know who I am, Lil Neo. Oh no, that's a naughty word, I can't say that one. To be fair, do have to agree with him with something here. I don't know who he is. I know who Orlando Brown is, uh, the, the actor, the musician, the star of a, a TV show that I used to like when I was a kid. But I just, I've got this feeling, you know, something tells me that this might not be him. Now, I know it says OFFICIAL in his channel name, but I think we might just have to open our minds to the possibility that he's lying. I mean, the first thing that tipped me off was that his channel has five subscribers. When he said, you don't even know who I am, I clicked on his channel to see who he was. And his channel has five subscribers and only a few videos, all of which are on other channels with more views. Now, don't get me wrong. I am not someone, I will not judge someone for a second on their subscriber count. Not, I'm not that sort of person, but if this is in fact Orlando Brown OFFICIAL, the man who created and uploaded these videos, uh, who is also a celebrity with a sizable following of his own, just doesn't really add up, does it? So I got bored of this guy and told him that I wasn't gonna get sucked in, and his response to me was, I'd like to see a professional video on me. You think you really want some views and attention? I dare you, homie. Google me, bitch. 
Now I didn't actually reply to that, but someone else did. I'm only just seeing it now that someone else did, and that's quite funny. So, Neil Chetwood, whoever you are, you get a thumbs up from me. Well done. Good sir. You are a good person. No, the thing that gets my attention more is I'm starting to wonder if this guy genuinely thinks that he is Orlando Brown, and that is a little bit worrying. As for the other thing that he said, he, he wants me to do a professional video on him. I mean, Orlando Brown official, mate. If you want a shout out, just, just ask for one. I'm, I'm a nice person, I'll probably give you one. Plus, I don't know that I could do a professional video on you, um, considering that you don't have that much content for me to look at and the fact that all of your videos are plagiarised from somewhere else. And just in case that's a bit much for your uh, simple little mind, I will break that down for you. Plagiarised is quite a long word and it just simply means f*** you. Next up we have 941 Games Online, who said something that I am honestly surprised no one has said on any of my videos to this point. You're a fat, small-minded faggot. I mean, you get a 10 out of 10 on observation though, mate, but I do like pizza and cake too much to care, so... Carry on. Also, I think you're getting a bit confused about the definition of small-minded because you do realise that small-minded is exactly what you, all the other followers, and no joke himself are being, and it's the exact opposite of what I'm saying. So, you're doing a good job so far. Well done. Also, you guys seem pretty fond of the word faggot, and I'm really not sure what to take away from that. It's just noticeable, to be honest. So I gave him his heart and I thanked him for the interaction on the video, as you do, and in an attempt, in what I think is an attempt to make himself feel like he's still got the upper hand, he took a few swings back. You chat a lot of sh**, focus on yourself before babbling on about someone you don't know. Oh, and f Muslims, Europe does not need them. I like that, just in case you forget that these people are horrible humans, he just puts in a little reminder there. That's, uh, that's nice and considerate for you, uh, 941 Games Online. Just gonna say this now as well, these do not represent my views at all. I am reading out what other people have said. I don't want anyone thinking that this is what I am actually saying. I do actually feel a bit bad about what I said next though. I just, I explained to him that I had, like, actual reasoning behind all the points that I made, whereas him and the other commenters uh, is that a word? Commenters? Him and the commenters have just sort of resorted to childish name calling and insults and swearing and stuff like that. I also had a, a little jab at the collective intelligence, which, yeah, that's fine. That's not what I feel bad at. No, what I feel bad at is that he hasn't commented back and it's been a couple of days now. So I'm wondering if I had like too many multisyllabic words in there and it sort of confused him a little bit. Sorry, let me break that down for you. Um, multisyllabic is quite a long word and it just simply means f you. All right, so this last one did genuinely bug me just a little bit. And it, it's not like because of anything he said or anything like that. No, it, it's because for like a fraction of a second in the middle of this comment, it almost comes close to being a reasonable argument. But then he just throws it all away and all hope for the human race is just gone. This is from HendrixFish420. Blaze it, brah. You clearly are a sad little man. I don't know why I'm giving him that voice. I'm giving him a voice. You clearly are a sad little man. Someone's jealous, winky face. He's actually a very nice down-to-earth guy. The realest person on YouTube, hands down. He's helped out many people over the past few years, and his videos on Cambodia are very informative and honest. Before you go judging someone, you should take a good long look at yourself and why you would feel the need to do so. Are you happy with your life or your choices or the way you look? If not, change it. Don't be a bitch or a hater. Life is short, too short for bullshit. Also, you're a brainwashed little cooked idiot regarding Islam. You have no idea what you're talking about. Enjoy your diversity. Tell you what, let's go point to point here, shall we? Um, I'm jealous. Am I jealous of 13,000 subscribers? Yeah, probably a little bit. Does it bug me a little bit that someone like this is doing better and is more successful than me? Yeah, a little bit. Am I jealous of No Joke Howard? No, I wouldn't go that far. That's where I draw the line. Let's not get carried away, shall we not, buddy? The majority of what else I have to say about his comment, I put into a reply of my own, because I actually put thought into that comment. Because like I say, it came close to being a decent 
criticism of my video. It came close to being a reasonable argument for me. So I did actually put thought into the comments. So I'm just going to read that out to you. I just said, how I feel about myself has nothing to do with this video. If you must know, I do wish I looked different. I have made choices I regret, but I'm fairly happy with where my life is at the moment. But I'm not judging him as a person. I said at the start of the video, I know nothing about him. I haven't seen any of his other videos, and I don't know the guy personally. So yeah, he could be a wonderful person. It even says that there in the description. What I'm judging him on is the uneducated, offensive, and frankly disgusting things he says in his video. Everyone is entitled to their opinion. That was his, this is mine. And I'm not brainwashed, I'm open-minded. Open to the idea that perhaps an entire religion isn't to blame for the acts of a minority faction. And based off the number of people who agree with me, both on this video and who have voiced their opinions elsewhere, we seem to know far more about the situation than you seem to. I think that pretty much covers it, except for that last part, enjoy your diversity. And to me, that sums these people up in a nutshell. To them, diversity is bad. And I don't know whether they're talking about a mixture of races, genders, religions, sexual orientations. If they're talking about that, or if they're slagging off Ashley Banjo's dance troupe, whatever the case, I think they're wrong. To them, they just want everyone to be the same as them. He said it right there, enjoy your diversity. And to me, that's him saying, we like it when everyone's the same as us. And I don't wanna to get too much into it, cause like I said, it's a touchy topic, but does anyone else see the massive hypocrisy in that? He hates diversity, he wants everyone to be the same as him. But ISIS, who are terrorists and say that they do it in the name of Islam, they do it to make everyone Islam. They do it so that they are the dominating religion. They want to get rid of anyone who isn't Islam. What's the difference? Aside from the fact that, fair enough, ISIS are terrorists and they do bad things, but you're hating a religion for wanting the same thing that you want. I don't even know if I'm gonna put that in. I didn't write any of that down. That just came off the top of my head as I was finishing this video off. And to be honest, I really hope I've not offended anyone there because that's a difficult point to get across without saying something stupid. I hope you understand what I mean there. But anyway, back to this. I couldn't resist one last little joke. So at the end of my comment, I just added a little thank you to him and the rest of the commenters for giving me my video this week, uh, which is, Oh, thank you guys. And if, if you are watching this, if you're one of the ones who commented on that video and you are watching this, please, please, please comment more stupid stuff because it's great fun making videos out of it. And I'm not all that creative, to be honest. So if you just leave me some nice comments that I can laugh at down below, that'd be great. Thank you very much. So to finish up, a little tip if you're leaving a comment. And to be honest, I think this goes for any video, not just mine, just like any video with any YouTuber. If you leave a comment that's blatantly saying, check out my channel, I'll probably ignore it. That's if I even see it because my spam filter will probably pick it up. If it's a genuine comment about the video, I'll appreciate it. If it's a comment disagreeing with a point that I've made in the video, then I, by all means, say that. I'll be, I am more than happy. I am always interested in seeing people, other people's points of view on things that I think about. So let's talk about it. Leave that comment and we can talk about it. I'll have an open mind to anything. But if you're just gonna leave stupid hate comments, I'm just gonna laugh at it. I'm not gonna take it seriously at all. Anything you say, I'm not gonna take it seriously whatsoever. Like you try and insult me or anything like that. I'm just gonna have a good laugh about it and then when the camera stops rolling, I'll probably start crying. Thanks for watching guys. Definitely click thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. I hope you did. Uh, click subscribe and you'll see more of me and leave a hate comment down below because my God, they are funny. That's again, guys, and I will see you next week.